This is showing the spindle after we put on the end O-ring, the old small O-ring under the SS stainless steel wear sleeve or wear ring that I drove onto the shaft, the spindle. So now you got the big thick O-ring, a little small O-ring under the stainless steel wear sleeve. And you got the wear sleeve itself. And now I've just greased up with the uh, hybrid uh, grease that uh, for the hub system. And then now I took down here and hand packed the inner bearing and put RTV silicone gasket maker high temp. I put that around the lip of the seal and then I took use this piece of wood, this piece of wood right here, and I beat the seal in down like that plus. So you can see there's the finished product. And over here is the outer seal or the outer bearing, uh, excuse me. That's the outer bearing that's gonna go in this other end of this little hub assembly here. It'll go right in there. And now what I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna put the hub assembly on there. And then once the assembly hub assembly is up on the spindle, I'm gonna stick a grease gun in here and I'm gonna pump that hub completely full till the grease comes out. When it comes out, then I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna take that outer bearing and I'm gonna stick it in, put the castle nut on, and the castle nut keeper, and then the cotter pin. And the cotter keep the, the castle nut will be put on hand tight, finger tight. That's where I want it to be. And it gives exactly the right amount of input. Uh, I looked it up in a book and I think it was something like 15 to 20 foot pounds, which they said it was equal to finger tight. I think so. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but I know it's supposed to be finger tight. And once you pump it up full of grease, then you take the bearing, you take the hub, uh, it's called the volt, take it, turn it upside down, you fill it with the hybrid grease all the way up to that shoulder right there, to where that snap ring is fill it completely full. Then you're going to stick it on. Basically, you're going to put it on like this. You're going to pound it in, and as you do, the spring-loaded hub assembly itself will pop out, and you want it to stick out. You want it to come out probably about, I think it's a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. Once you pound it in like that, you fill up the hub, then you fill up this to, the, to, that, to that ring, that spring-loaded uh, snap ring, and when you pound it on with a block of wood, it just the bolt black area will pop up out and if it's a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch you did a good job you're good to go and that pressurizes the system in my opinion I don't like that system I think it ought to be a system where there's a zerk fitting in the end of this spindle so that you can properly do it and this wear sleeve would have a hole drilled inside of it you could pump it in the zerk fitting and it'll go all the way through pop out that that stainless steel wear sleeve back there then it fills up the inner bearing comes up through the hub assembly all the way up the spindle and then fills up the, the, the outer bearing. That to me is the best way. According to UFB uh, company, they're saying that 50% have a zerk fitting and 50 don't. Well, in my opinion, uh, the trailer tongue says that it is a bolt system and it's good from five years. You pay another 50 bucks, it's good for another five years. Well, they're acting like then you basically got a 10 year warranty, no touch, no service. Absolutely is not true. You should have a zerk fitting in the end I feel like Marine Master Trailers did the wrong thing. I think they're making their customers think that they got a, a, a non-serviceable that doesn't need service for five to 10 years if you pay the 50 bucks and get the extended uh, warranty. It's good for five years unless you pay 50 bucks and you get five more years. But this is just absolutely not true. My bolt hubs have been flat like this for five years, which means that my seals in the back have been worn out. Now a lot of guys say like, well you should have changed the tent. No, this thing has never been out. It was just been out about a year after I got the trailer. So this has never been out. But I'll tell you this, when I pulled it apart, I will say this, all the bearings had plenty of the hybrid grease on them. So they would have still went down the road probably for many more years. The only reason I'm doing this is because back where my calibers were at, my discs were froze and stuck. And because it built up excessive heat, it was knocking the back, the seals out back there. So I had to put on new 35B uh, or B, BP 35 new calibers, brake assemblies, the whole kit. It was like 74 bucks a piece. So they go back here on this, back here on that. But I'll get back to.